why don't we start with our announcements and then, well, let me just spotlight you so we can um, see your beautiful face. And all right, so let's, uh, let's start with our announcements and then we'll get to the class and the meditation, yeah? Great, thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, namaste. My name is Akshay and uh, I am with the United India Association of New England. And on uh, behalf of uh, the whole association, I would like to welcome you all to the second session of Participate and Learn with Shiv Mundukar. And I would like to introduce our organization briefly, where uh, United India Association of New England was founded in 1984 in Massachusetts. And our core mission is to preserve, promote and nurture the values of Indian heritage by planning, developing, and executing the programs which bring our community together. Due to ongoing pandemic, we had organized COVID-19 relief fund and um, they, it's the, the fundraiser is still on. With a contribution, we could deliver meals to healthcare workers uh, working hard and risking their lives at the front line of the pandemic. We have been serving seniors, students, and other family members with meals and day-to-day -day groceries as well as no one should go to bed hungry due to ongoing pandemic. We have a fabulous team and a great leader behind all these planning and events. Please join me in giving them a huge round of applause for their hard work and unconditional commitment. Our team appreciates your continued support to help the community. You can make uh, donations right now um, on uh, unitedindia.net. Um, consider being a UIA any members today and you will be on our uh, email list for the events and activities uh, that we organize throughout the year. For the month of June, uh, we at UIA are pleased to announce you uh, uh, and uh, we are pleased to invite you to all uh, to participate in yoga, meditations, dance, music and other art classes that are upcoming. Hope many of you um, can take advantage of these free classes and we will be able to, um, uh, and while you're stuck at home, and we will be able to come together. Today is our session for, of the series, and we are really pleased to partner with Shiv Mundukar again for yoga and meditation. Welcome, Shiv, and thank you for joining hands with us. Many of you may have sh known Shiv already, but those who are attending this session for the first time, Shiv, can you introduce yourself briefly, and then we will take on this session. Sure. All right. It's going to make someone else the host so I can focus on teaching. Thank you. Yeah. Do uh, you want me to become the host? I don't know. No. I just made uh, my father the host. Okay. So, uh, all right. You can see me. So yes. My name is Shiv. I've been teaching yoga and I've been working as a health coach for the last eight years. And it is my pleasure to be with you today. We'll be having a class on pranayama and meditation today. Uh, Saturday's class will be on uh, pranayama and asana practice. Uh, so let's all get into a comfortable seated posture. With the spine straight, you can sit on the ground. You can sit on a cushion. You can sit on a chair. And you can even stand What's important is that the spine is straight and the body is relaxed. So keep the spine straight and unsupported. Let's close our eyes and let's start now with deepening the breathing, bringing our awareness into the body
deep breaths in through the nose, out through the nose, diaphragmatic breathing. Use your ujjayi breathing, your ocean breath, slight constriction at the back of the throat. Internalizing the senses. Focusing on listening intently for when we're listening with a deep intention, we cannot be creating thoughts simultaneously. So listen deeply, listen, listen, and feel. Visualize what you are feeling, integrate your senses. Keeping the body still allows the mind to become still. Focusing on the breathing gives us a focal point of attention. When the mind wanders to thoughts or feelings that are distracting, practice concentration, bringing the mind back to the focal point of your breathing. And once the mind has stopped wandering, we can call this a state of meditation. a stillness of the body and the mind. As I said, today's practice, we will start with pranayam, breathing exercises in order to balance the emotions. And then we will continue to a meditation, to open the chakras and bring healing to ourselves and to the planet at this critical time. Bringing our awareness now to the sacred heart space about one centimeter to the right of the center of the chest. To where the witness consciousness emerges from so that we can observe all that we are experiencing from that space of non-judgment, of unconditional love. In this space, we remember the inner smile, smiling with our eyes, smiling with our whole energy body, feeling gratitude, feeling love, feeling appreciation for all that is, all that we experience. Throughout the entirety of this yoga practice and this meditation, we will be witnessing from this state of our being. From a deep state of meditation. A deep knowingness in our heart that we are that love, we are that connection. That is our true essence. Remaining in this heart space now, we will begin our pranayama practice. 
to clear the mind, clear the body, and balance the emotion. Preparing the body for meditation. Starting with our Ujjayi breathing, deepening the breathing, breathing deeply from the diaphragm, a slight constriction at the back of the throat, making the sound of the ocean. Taking a few deep breaths here. I wanna remind you, if at any point in time, while we're doing this pranayam practice, it feels like there's too much energy going through the body, if you feel too dizzy, please come down into child's pose. Yes. Listen to your body. And trust your intuition. We will start today's practice with our snake breathing and our dragon breathing. Snake breathing will make the sound creating a pressure in the belly, almost like we're lifting a weight. Yeah, creating the pressure and pulling up at the root. It's like the Kegel muscle exercise, almost like you're preventing yourself from going to the bathroom. So pulling up at the root and pushing down with the breath, we compact at the navel the pressure, and visualize energy moving up the spine and into the heart. And this is the first step, the snake breathing. Together, we'll take a deep inhale. Deep inhales. Pressure in the abdomen. Remembering to pull up at the root at the base of the perineum. One more breath. Starting to feel some heat in the body. Feeling that energy moving up into the heart. Now, we're going to go into our dragon breathing to move the energy out. 
Visualize like you're a dragon, like you're breathing fire, and we're gonna make the sound ha. Like you're fogging up the mirror or fogging up a glass. Visualize that energy, all the stuck emotion, everything that we moved up, visualize it, it being expelled. Yes? With the fire of your breath. Deep inhales. Again, we need to pressurize the abdomen, pull up at the root. Lots of pressure in the abdomen, pushing down with the breath, pulling up at the root, creating that pressure. Inhales. Two more breaths. Coming into our Ujjayi breathing. With every breath, we expand not only at the belly, but at the sides and at the lower back. 360 degree expansion, diaphragmatic breathing. Deep inhales, in through the nose, out through the nose. Coming into our, bus, our uh, breath of fire now, Kapilavati. Now, the way we're gonna do this, I'll go through it briefly for those of you that are new. We inhale into the navel, about 60, 70% in through the nose. And then there's a forceful exhale accompanied by the vacuuming of the stomach. So it looks like, yeah, so you can try that pulling in and out the navel. This is an important muscle that we need to learn how to use and to strengthen. So as we exhale, we have a forceful exhale accompanied by that pulling in of the navel towards the spine. And then we have the relaxation of the navel accompanied by the natural inhale. Focus on the exhale for our, our breath of fire. We're gonna repeat that process. And then we're gonna take a deep inhale, expanding through the posture, stretching out the posture. Right, keeping the chin tucked, keeping the chest open, the spine long. We're gonna hold the breath. And then we're gonna exhale through the mouth, as expelling as much air as possible. Holding the breath out, keeping the chin tucked, keeping the chest open, keeping the spine long. We're going to be pumping the navel or holding that navel in towards the spine. So slow pumps, quick pumps, or just hold the navel in. This is up to you. Follow your intuition. Now, do what feels good. Follow your feeling, okay? Listen to your body. Then, before we inhale, we relax the navel, take a deep inhale through the nose, stretch out the posture, and then we come back into our ujjayi breathing together, okay? You don't have to remember all that, we're gonna go through it together. 
Take a deep Ujjayi breath, prepare. And now inhaling through the nose, 60, 70% into the belly. And Deep inhales into the nose. Hold. Breathing into better posture. Chin is tucked, open chest, long spine. We're gonna exhale completely through the mouth, holding the breath out, pumping the navel or hold, pumping the navel or holding the navel in towards the spine. Ready? Before you inhale, relax the navel. Inhale through the nose. Opening the posture, relax the shoulders. The shoulders are down and back. Relax the shoulders. You can stretch them out. You can twist. Open, stretch out your sides. When you need to exhale through the nose and come into your ujjayi breathing. Take a deep Ujjayi breath, 360 degree expansion at the navel, diaphragmatic breathing. One more breath. We're gonna have a next round of our Kapilabhati. This time, when we're doing our Kapilabhati, we're gonna be holding our hands up, elongating through the spine. All right. So take one more dry breath, prepare. Lifting your hands up, elongating through the spine, shoulders relaxed, down and back. And inhale, 60, 70% into the navel. And. Deep inhales, hold, stretch, shoulders relaxed, open posture. You can rotate at the wrists, rotate at the shoulders, neck rolls. Exhaling through the mouth completely. Holding the breath out, pumping the navel. Long spine, open chest. Relaxing the navel when you need to. Deep inhales through the nose. You 
can clasp the hands together like this overhead. Stretching out the shoulders. Exhaling through the nose. Coming into your Ujjayi breathing now. Deep diaphragmatic breaths. One more breath. We're gonna go from here to our Bastrika breathing, our bellows breath. Similar to our Kapilabhati, breath of fire, except we have a forceful exhale followed by the forceful inhale. We're gonna be using all of our muscles, our whole posture, to get as much air in as possible on the inhale, and then get as much air out as possible on the exhale, pumping the body in and out with the breath. This allows for us to super oxygenate the body. You might feel some tingling sensations. You might get a little bit of dizziness. It's okay. You're sitting down, just keep going. Uh, if it feels way too much, you can, of course, come down into your child's pose. But I urge you to push yourself, keep going, super oxygenate the body. And what this allows for is for us to hold the breath out longer. Challenge yourself on the out breath to hold the breath out for as long as you possibly can. And this, what this is going to do is upregulate the body's ability to produce red blood cells and upregulate the body's uh, immune system function. So we're going to be doing this together now. In through the nose, out through the nose. Deep inhales through the nose. Relax shoulders, open posture. Relax, work with, if there's any dizziness, work with that feeling, relax, allow for it to be, it's okay. Smile. We're gonna exhale through the nose and again, pump the navel or hold the navel in towards the spine, holding the breath out for as long as is comfortable. Then before you inhale, make sure you relax the navel, ready? Exhaling through the mouth. (sighs) 
chin tucked, open chest, long spine, relaxed shoulders. Relaxing the navel before you inhale through the nose. And open the posture. Stretching. Look into your body, close your eyes. Feel where there's tension and open. Pushing your breath into that tension, opening. Exhaling through the nose, coming into a dry breathing. When you need to. Deep breaths. Now again, we're gonna have one more round of our Bhastrika breathing. When we lift our hands up, we can either take prayer position up there, pressing the palms together, opening, or you can take this mudra here, creating tension between the palms, pressing the fingertip, a uh, pointer finger together, yes, and the pinkies. What this allows for is to open at the shoulders, allowing the, this part of the back to expand. I don't know if you can see. But we just elongate through the spine, allowing for the back to expand, the shoulders to expand, packing the shoulders down away from the ears, shoulders are relaxed. So now for this round of our Bhastrika breathing, we're gonna be holding the hands up like we did for our second round of the Kapilavati. Ready? Taking one deep Ujjayi breath, preparing. Lifting the palms. Packing the shoulders down, away from the ear, shoulders relaxed. And ready. Deep inhales through the nose.
Exhaling through the mouth, holding breath out in the lower palms. Tuck chin, elongate the spine, chest open. And pull the navel in towards the spine or pump the navel. Shoulders relaxed, down and back. And when you need to, relax in the navel. Inhaling through the nose, deep inhales. Shoulders relaxed. Open the posture, chin tucked. Breathing into any tension. Notice where the tension is in your body. Close your eyes. Feel intuitively. Exhaling through the nose when you need to. I mean, start with Jai breath. From here, we're going to go into our alternate nostril breathing. Taking our left hand, and making this mudra. The thumb comes to the outside of the pointer finger. Palm facing up. And the left hand comes down on the leg, allowing the left shoulder to relax comfortably. Yeah. With the right hand, we're going to be using our thumb to block the right nostril. And we're going to be using our uh, index finger uh, and uh, pinky finger to block the left nostril. If pressure is building up in the third eye, you can press these two fingers into the third eye, that's an option. So let's take one more ujjayi breath to prepare for our also nostril breathing. I'll guide us through the process. In through the nose, out through the nose. Exhaling completely through the nostrils. Blocking the right nostril with the right with the thumb. Inhaling through the left nostril. Hold at the top, blocking both nostrils, swallow, balancing the pressure between the ears. Opening the right nostril, exhale. Holding the breath out, and again, swallow, balancing the pressure between the ears. Inhale through the right nostril. Hold, you could block both nostrils, and swallow. Open the left nostril and exhale completely. Holding the breath out, swallow. Inhale through the left. Lock both nostrils, swallow. Relax any tension in the face, smile. Open the right nostril, exhale through the right.
Holding the breath out, swallow. Relaxing the eyes, relaxing any tension. Inhale through the right nostril. Hold at the top, swallow. Opening the left nostril, exhale completely. Hold at the bottom and swallow. Inhale through the left. Hold at the top. You can also keep both nostrils blocked and exhale against the pressure to balance the pressure between the ears. Open the right nostril, exhale completely. Holding the breath out. Inhale through the right. Holding the breath, balance the pressure between the ears. Opening the left, exhale completely. Holding the breath out. Inhale to the left. Blocking both nostrils, swallow and you can gently, again, pretend like you're exhaling, even though you can't get any air out. It'll balance the pressure between the ears. Be gentle. Opening the right nostril, exhale completely. Holding the breath out, swallow. Inhale to the left, the right, sorry. Holding the breath in, balance the pressure between the ears. Opening the left nostril, exhale completely. Holding the breath out, swallow. And release. Coming into our Ujjayi breathing now. Keeping the eyes closed. We're gonna come into our meditation directly from here now. The body is prepared for meditation now. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose. Keeping the body completely still, allowing the mind to become completely still.
Every breath becoming deeper and more subtle, more gentle. Continue to breathe at your own pace. Deep inhales and exhales through the nose, remembering your inner smile, remembering to be aware of the sacred heart space, witnessing and observing the breath, allowing for it to become deeper, allowing for it to become more subtle, allowing for the body to become completely relaxed and completely still. Keep the eyes closed throughout the whole meditation. And focus your intention. Remaining aware of the sacred heart space, witnessing the breathing. Noticing the pauses at the top and the bottom of the breath. Before each inhale and before each exhale, there's a slight pause. Notice this. Notice that as the breath becomes deeper and more subtle, as the body becomes more relaxed, the pauses become shorter and shorter. Almost as if the inhale and the exhale merge and the pauses disappear completely. As the inhale becomes the exhale and the exhale becomes the inhale, we come into our circular breathing. Notice this. Merging the inhale with the exhale and the exhale with the inhale. The breath becomes even more subtle. Slower, deeper, the body even more relaxed. Soon the breath becomes so subtle, it's barely noticeable that you are even breathing at all. Remain aware. Remain in your heart. Remember your inner smile. Smile with your eyes, smile with your whole energy body. 
Feel the gratitude, feel the love, feel the appreciation for all that is. Witnessing, observing, the body now feeling like a clear channel, empty of thoughts. Emotions flowing freely. So much gratitude for this experience. We notice at this time the background tension of the collective, the anger, the frustration that is in the air at this moment in time with what is. knowing that this is just part of a process of change, of evolution, feeling gratitude for that process. Sending compassion healing light to those experiencing suffering and pain and loss at this time. With every breath that we take, we pull in the suffering of others, transmute that suffering with the gratitude in our hearts, with the love in our hearts, and we exhale blessings of healing light to those who need it. Feeling the compassion. Visualizing the suffering of others as it comes in as a gray stuck energy and as it's transmuted by the light of our hearts, the love in our hearts. We exhale golden light, visualizing, put all of your intention into this, feel the compassion 
Feel the gratitude. Knowing that the chaos we see around us is only one step further towards the change that is necessary. The change that we all see and know that is needed at this time to bring more abundance to all beings, to bring more love and support to all beings. We know in our hearts what we have to do to bring about these changes to support others. To heal ourselves so that we can be there for others. Feel the opening in your heart. Your ability to give and to receive love from the universe as your heart expands. Feel the opening of your Manipura, your solar plexus chakra, feeling abundant, knowing that you have all that you need more than you need. That you can be there for others, feeling the well-being, feeling the abundance, feeling the confidence. the passion and the drive to be there for your family, for your community, for all beings, all beings that need support at this time. with your Manipura chakra, your solar plexus, and your heart chakra, your Anahata, wide open now, an abundance of love. True wealth. Keeping the awareness of the sacred heart space. Keeping the eyes closed, we'll take our hands to prayer position. Thumbs gently pressing against the sternum, center of the chest. And we'll end class together with one arm vibrating our love into the universe. Deep inhales through the nose.
thank you, my family, for joining me. I am grateful for your presence. I love you. Namaste. Thank you for coming to class.